Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. And welcome to yet another exciting edition of When I Home, live on SABC3. I'm Tavi Somakubela. Indeed, yo. How's it going, dude? All good, all good. I'm excited to open these doors, see what's behind them. Making some winners. Design drama. Making it's gonna be awesome. winners, making winners all around. Ooh, I'm loving the hashtag already. <laughs> hashtag When I Home. You guys have been sending some incredible tweets thus far. Keep them coming through. My name is Danilo Aquisto, and this is the show where you stand a chance of winning a dream home at the Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate developed by Baldwin Property which is located in Cape Town in Somerset West, Ooh. giving you the benefits of country living while being conveniently located just outside of Cape Town. Ah, uh, well, listen, also, if you've entered the grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za over the past week, you're also eligible to be a weekly winner in our Capitec Open the Door giveaway later in the show. It's not too late, though. You still have until 7.45 p.m. tonight to be part of tonight's giveaway. And here's what you can win. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 5,000 Rand Durham paint voucher, a Caesarstone Domino desk lamp designed by Dr. and Mrs. with 12,000 Rand, or a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher. So keep mm. those phones charged, we could be calling you. And you'll also have a second opportunity to win with Samsung, where tonight we're giving you uh, the chance to win a Galaxy Watch with phone capability via Bluetooth, fitness tracking, and interchangeable strap as well. There's nothing oh. that it doesn't do. Oh man, well then, if you're a Capita client, listen to this one. You have a chance of adding some cash to your winnings by answering a simple question. And tonight's cash amount has rolled over to 15,000 Rad. I can't even conceptualize that. All right, this is one again, one of those moments where I want to be on that side yeah. of the camera right now, Eight, where eight you time. guys are right now. So keep your phones on you, keep them charged. We could be calling you. That all happens later on in the show. But for now, we're getting back to the design duos as they race to the finish line to complete both of their bathrooms before that deadline. Oh, it's my favorite part of the show. Mm -hmm. It's that time where I arrive on location and get to press that little buzzer at the end of the day. Are you ready for the drama? Let's recap before we get there. Last time on Winner Home. With their second double challenge in a row, the design duos were given the task of completing both their bathrooms. In a bold move, the perma peeps opted to use reclaimed slate tiles in their spaces, but soon learned their saving on budget means paying with hard work. Carrying all of those reclaimed roof tiles up those four flights of stairs was really labor intensive. We definitely got to work out. I definitely made my 10,000 steps. Team Contrast Control chose to bring an element of colour into their bathrooms in the form of custom wallpaper for their featured collaboration. Yo, bro, that looks, that looks mad. Um, yeah, be sick if we could have like a, an open shelf in front of the, the palm tree. Ooh, I like that, like, like a high kind of shelf. And it doesn't even have to be the Add whole to wall. That mystery, yeah. Having decided on the perfect designs for each of their spaces, it's now a matter of execution. And Team R and K seem to be on top of their plans at the halfway mark. Our tiles are going up, uh, our paint is almost done, and it's, it's coming together, it's all working. But with completely different aesthetics in each bathroom, will they pull it together on time? Whoa, look at them, the design duos, they really are pushing the boundaries of design in this challenge. But time management is the name of the game. With the deadline looming, let's head back to Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West to catch all that last minute action. It's deadline day and I'm just like, no, I can't do this anymore. It's a lot. Bathrooms, two, two weeks, uh-uh, no. Yeah, a mess. Morning of our deadline day. Yesterday we were feeling very confident, but today, not so much. <laughs> it's the last day of the challenge and we have a few more hours to go, but at least our tiles are in and our Caesar Stone sauna is done. I'm so excited, it's fabulous. We've got beautiful moss balls from Nuno Indoor Plants that we need to get in and our moss mats that we need to finish making. It's 
Yeah. It's going to be a big day. It's going to be a big E today. But at least it's a day of us playing with our plants, which we love. <laughs> We're not going to have enough of this floor tile to tile up to that level. So we're going to have to carry on tiling down to the correct level where those looks should have finished up there. Yeah, using so, up that white tile basically. Yeah, because we, have, we have the white tile. It takes long to tile, but at least we have it. We can't afford to buy more tiles. With regards to our tiling though, we didn't really anticipate how much effort would go into it. Yeah, it's a lot of effort because we having a lot of small tiles, but all in all, it should look very, very delicious. Yeah. Okay, let's hang the mirrors. That we can do now. Okay. And lights we can't do till later. Yeah. It's hectic. Mm. And our tabs arrived. Mm. I opened the box. Yo. <laughs> we go. We may have ordered the wrong ones. I think so. Oh. No, Maran. You know what? I have a solution. Solutions? Yeah. I love that. Solutions! <laughs> We've come up with a solution for our mixer problem in the shower. And um, so we went to get some spray paint and we're gonna try and spray it and see if it works. I'm just hoping it, it comes together because this is similar to the color that we initially wanted. So, I mean, we have to make do with what we have. It will just have to work. I mean, there's no way we're gonna get a color that's, that's gonna match. It's no way. Yeah, we've still got quite a bit to do, cleaning, so much cleaning of those tiles. With all the crevices and the natural texture, there's just lots of nooks and crannies to remove dust from before we can seal. We knew from the start it was going to be a lot more work using reclaimed tiles versus your normal off the shelf. And yeah, considering we had the same time constraints, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with the outcome. It is so crazy, we haven't even eaten. I mean, it's a complete mess, and I can hear my stomach making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, and then I walk in. <laughs> some pizza. Here you go, honey. I have it in my mouth. Do that, yeah, just, just have some. She's feeding me. I mean, I was like, what more could I ask for? Besides our main collaboration with the, with the wallpaper, the vanities ended up being quite a crazy collaboration, so it's, kind of a four-part combination that we're absolutely stoked about. This was amazing for us because we had to pull so many different um, people together to make it for us. So we've literally got a steel guy, a joiner, the Caesar stone fabricator, and then the flush sandwich. And it's so sick because we can have the stone correlate with the rest of the bathroom. And then obviously, uh, we're just so happy with how this piece has come out. So I just wanted to double check with you that the uh, that the bracing we've put underneath is sufficient. No, that's perfect. There's nothing wrong with the bracing. It's strong enough. And obviously the material, there's enough space support for it. Well. Nothing will happen to it. Okay, awesome. Ladies, ladies, why aren't you in your bathroom? Hi, I've got, Dad. I've got some bad news. Time is running out. Yeah, it is. It is. Every time you walk in, we know it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this cabinet is sitting out here. Is this going to go inside the bathroom? Oh, yeah. yes. This is our bespoke piece. We just want it in there. I mean, there's a lot going on. And what's going on in there? Um, it's going. Is it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going. This is coming. What is this now? Oh, my word. The Ottoman is here. Yes. This is also. Yes, how fantastic, but the great part about this is that you can all store stuff in it. Uh -huh. Fabulous. That is so cool. I don't want to see pretty things, I want to see a finished, polished bathroom. Get back in there, get done. I want the judges to see something incredible. Absolutely. Go, 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 you go, go. You, you go. go, no, you, you go. No, you go. <laughs> So the Pumla people have had a pretty stressful last couple of hours. It has been chaos inside their apartment, and even I'm too nervous to go in and tell them that it's almost deadline. Guys, a couple of hours left, all right? Uh, I'm going. Let's leave them. The mirrors still need to be up. The vanity still needs to go in. The light still needs to go in. The painting still needs to go in. As much as we love Danilo, it really sucks seeing him on, on deadline day means it's crunch time. Contrast control, holy moly, guys. This looks like chaos. A little bit. A little bit, but the ball is rolling. Why you look so unstressed, guys? There's so much to do. <laughs> Not really, we have this under control. Do you? Yes. Contrast control or time control, guys? Uh, <laughs> damn. Danilo, you're killing us. Again. Mm. 
Promise me this is going to be done by the sure. time we get to deadline. Yeah, we got this. Kay. We were a lot more confident yesterday evening, but we're still happy. Uh huh. There are only a few hours left, and there's not even a toilet installed, guys. Time is running out. Good luck. Sure. Thanks, Tanita. Yo! Hey! Even I'm, even I'm getting spicy at this point <laughs> in the competition. My word, are they going to be wow. done on time? They look far too chilled for me, those boys. Dude, you know, I don't know how you can sit there and keep so composed in all that can't pressure. It's, it's insane. My it's word, insane. the designs at the end of the day, we'll have to wait to see what they look like. So remember that you could soon call part of a lifestyle estate your very own home as the winner of our grand prize competition where you could walk away with your choice of one of the three apartments as completed by our design duos. Perhaps you even have a favorite. Mm. So make sure that you vote for your favorite on privateproperty.co.za that's where you can enter that's right well that vote will also automatically put you in the draw for our weekly Capitec open the door giveaway now to be eligible for tonight's draw you only have until 7.45 tonight to enter so do it right now indeed the design viewers also have a deadline looming and we'll see those few tense moments directly <sighs> after the break <laughs> Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to your favorite design and decor reality show. This is Winner Home live on SABC3. Now, the time has officially gone 7.45, and mm. that means entries are closed on mm. privateproperty.co.za for tonight's Capitec Open the Door competition. But that does mean that uh, entries are going to now open up for next week's That's right. Capitec Open the Door That's competition. Right. So if you've entered for tonight, oh, keep those phones charged. Make sure that you're ready to answer the call with, hello, I'm ready to win. <laughs> <on Winner Home." laughs> well, time is quickly running out for our design duos. And while they complete birthday bathrooms, the last thing they want to hear is that deadline horn. It's my favorite thing. Oh, man. Design contestants, you're part of a designer competition, not a designer holiday. Run our lip. Time is running out. Things are intense, but we always manage to find a little bit of calm and zen when dealing with our plants. <laughs> our DIY moss mat and hanging our moss balls. It's, yeah, it's almost there. The extra budget from our, our previous win uh, really helped us get some really nice mirrors that we, we managed to get off the shelf. Then we did a little bit of DIY on that and added a... Strip light. Strip light. Some, uh, yeah, some backlighting for the mirrors. For the ambiance. It's an hour left. Just have to get my hands dirty. I mean, this has been an emotional roller coaster. I mean, from starting to have to pick up towels, paint, my goodness. Yeah, it's been hectic. I mean, you always imagine that when you think of bathrooms, you think it's just, it's so simple. You need a toilet, a mirror, a basin, a bathtub or a shower. But here we're doing details, like a design. Like a design. Yeah. Yeah. The paint is going on, finally. It's usually the last thing to be applied, but it shouldn't be this late. <laughs> it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Ten minutes! It's the end of the second challenge, and what a stressful challenge it was. However, the rules are the rules, it's deadline, and all our design contestants must now drop their tools. And it's up to the judges. Will they be showered with praise or flushed down the loo? It's time to find out. Yo, it's done. That's it. We're done. Hope it is. Once again. We finish in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Look at them, they've completed their bathrooms. Our duos can now take a step back and breathe a sigh of relief because the hard work is done. Team RNK ran into their fair uh, share of troubles leading up to the deadline, but in the end, they managed to produce something truly spectacular.
Welcome to our space. Hey, hey now. It's come together so nicely. Well done. Literally when I walked in here last time, we were speaking about this gray wall, but none of this was in. There was no pendant, there were no shelves. Talk me through the design aesthetic outline. This is our classic bathroom. It is our guest bathroom. We wanted it to be very neutral, mm. very earthy, but also elegant. We worked with paint wood movement, which we hope that the judges will appreciate. It's subtle, but it's very significant. Of course, we went with black and white. Again, two classic colors. I mean, who can go wrong with that, right? We use vanilla norm, a shade of Caesar stone, which we love. You've seen it again in our guest bedroom, so we've carried that theme through. And our pendant, I mean, there's just so much to talk about. Yes. We love this space. I'm sure, and you guys are clearly in love with it. Oh, yes, we are. And in terms of the judges, what could be some of the critiques? Um, I mean, the fact that it's too clinical, you know, it might be too bare for them. We don't try to go wild yeah. in here, we just try to keep it simple, you know, very clean and you know, black and white. And initially they spoke about the lack of bespoke elements, right? It's a bathroom. We don't want to clutter the space. So in terms of bespoke and true design, we made our own shelving with Caesar Stone, which we do hope that they see and acknowledge. I hope so too. Let's go check out the master bathroom. Let's yes. do that. Now I am loving this bathroom, guys. This is full of color, lots of bespoke items. Talk me through your favorite elements. This whole bathroom is my favorite element. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, it's so feminine, so, so sophisticated as well, but also it's got a vintage element. Eclectic is the word, really. Don't you feel like the yeah. 80s when you come in here? Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the fact that we brought so much color, you know, which complement each other, and I mean, it really works in this space, doesn't it? And of course, if you want to talk bespoke, think Escava. Escava was Caesar Stone, darling. I mean, look at that. So other than your beautifully bespoke Caesar Stone vanity over here, what are the other bespoke elements that the judges will just be wowed by? I would have to say our cabinet over there, which we collaborated with Emma, the new modernist. I mean, it was repurposed. I mean, it was nothing, and now it's everything. Yeah. Look at it, even the color. I mean, gorgeous. So bold, so, yeah. so bold. <laughs> then of course we have our ottoman here, you know, because bathrooms are also about storage. There's towels, there's toilet paper, there's so much to store. So we have made this amazing, amazing ottoman right here, which has an element of storage in it. We really do hope they appreciate that. I think they will. The space is warm, it's inviting, I love the colors. I just want to spend more time in here, so get out. Well, that's will leave you to Enjoy. <laughs> I'm part of these two. <laughs> a little bit weird spending some time in the bathroom, isn't it? But when you love it, you love it. The question is, do you? Hashtag Winner Home is what you can use to uh, obviously have your tweets found by us uh, on Winner Home on SABC3. To read some of the comments, Norma says, definitely Team RNK, we on, ladies. Let's keep going. Hashtag Winner Home. Then a tweet came in from Rehana, says, tune in to Winner Home, uh, Capitech Team Perma Peeps. They're awesome. Uh, also, Tebojo saying, yes, it has arrived. My favorite show. I can't wait to see the duos, what they have in store for tonight. The anticipation is killing me, shall we? We've only done one team so far. Uh, Adolf is definitely behind Team Perma Peeps. He says Perma Peeps all the way with a cool pick of their team. And we also had another tweet that says Team Contrast Control will forever be my favorite. Their challenges are so well executed. I like how they always keep it together, making work look easier than it actually is. Hashtag Winner Home. If you'd like to see your tweets read out on TV, make sure that you send them through. Hashtag Winner Home on Twitter by telling us who your favorite design duo is. Now stay tuned to find out what Team Contrast Control and the Perma Peeps managed to pull off in their bathroom spaces. That's coming up after these. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, we've seen the unique personalities of Team RNK's bathroom spaces, both sophisticated and glamorous in their own right. Team Contrast Control stayed true to their name and brought a playful blend of color, light, and reflection into their bathrooms. And this is it. Yes, it is. It is. What I absolutely love about the space is when you walk in initially, you see sort of shower, mirror, vanity, but then this wall that you guys have got, this feature wall, just brings us pop of like vibrance and exuberance in here. Yeah, so what we wanted to achieve with the whole guest bathroom is that we wanted it to be a lot more playful and kind of play around with pastel colors, but still keeping it very cozy and having still keeping the clinical feel of a general bathroom. Right, so then talk me through the general aesthetic in your guest bathroom. 
Yeah, so like he said, playful, um, and then also we wanted to play on, on pastels and, and reflection. So when you're standing looking into the vanity, you're getting this mad reflection of the, the wallpaper behind you. I also like some of the custom design elements, like your vanity here. What are the items you hope the judges will find and then love? I think this vanity design that we have here is kind of one of the main pieces in this bathroom because it's a collaboration between four people. Um, Dean Sarsen did the steel framing, and then another person that Nick usually uses for his joinery did the joinery box. And then there's a Caesar stone, stone top, and this is the flush kind of sandwich, and it kind of works very well together. As a guest, this is fantastic. I want to see what it's like to be a master in the master bathroom. Yes. Let's go check it out. Welcome to our master bathroom. I see. So you guys used the same wallpaper there, brought that theme across. Yeah. Oh, nice job. And I see you've also managed to find a solution to that lighting problem we had at Halfway. Yeah, that was our mentor Karen Marsden's uh, suggestion where we do a hook and mm -hmm. kind of suspend the light across. They're not called mentors for nothing. Not Good at all. job, yeah. And then another thing we were super stoked with um, was that we were able to find mirrors in the shapes that we were looking for, just off the shelf in our really short timeline. And they work really well with our, our wallpapers that we got, did with Cara. And then a DIY project that we took on was to, to suspend the lighting behind the mirror to get a nice even spread um, of light. Nice. And for you, what are the standout pieces in here that you want the judges to find? I think um, evidently there's one like, material that we use a lot in these bathrooms, which is the Caesar stone. We use it for our floors, we use the cloud burst for the majority of the floor, and then we put a huge insert in our shower there, of the cloud burst, and it really makes the sandwich kind of pop very nice, because it's white and the black sandwich just kind of contrasts that yeah. well. And I love the play of textures as well. The spaces look really well curated, guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the judges think. Awesome. Good us luck too. to you two. Yeah. Us too. Us too. We want to knock this one out. I just want to shower and it looks so good. No, not right now. Not yet. It's fine. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let the judges do that part. <laughs> Well, hey, Brew. I like this guy. It feels like I'm outside to do some yoga in here, <laughs> mm, spa treatment. I love it. Yeah, indoor outdoor living, it's our thing. <laughs> cool. So let's talk through the ideas when they first came about and how you feel you guys executed those. Oh, well, we knew we wanted to create a very cave like space, and we went and we looked around at a couple of tile shops and couldn't really find a tile for our budget that gave us that real earthy, natural feeling. And then we went to Demolition Salvage Yard and came across these beauties and budget-wise it worked out better and also for our permaculture principles using what's existing and reclaiming through the salvage yard is definitely what just appealed to us all around. What about the client do you think you've designed for? I think that this will be a great surprise for them and they'll love this. I mean, it's interaction, it's about playing with your plants and walking into your space and actually interacting in your space. It's not just about living in it, it's about being able to interact in your space as well. And this brings that about. Mm. And in this fast-paced digital world, you kind of want something that's going to ground you and feel like it's back at sort of earth. Yeah. What about the aesthetic of the home? How does this fit into the general aesthetic? Oh, you'll see we, we're bringing in plants into every space, so just by default there are plants in every space throughout the home. And because this has got quite a natural feel to it, that it does tie in quite beautifully with our sort of natural, earthy, African aesthetic that's starting to come through. In terms of your favourite elements, these judges are probably dying to give you a challenge win by this point. What will wow them in both your bathrooms? Well, I think the fact that we've used reclaimed tiles firstly is going to be a very big factor and also because between both bathrooms we've done exactly the same aesthetic in different ways. Also, as well, I also think that they're going to love our Caesar Stone sauna. That's, that's the winner. The, the sauna is definitely where the fun is at. <laughs> and I really think we need to get you in there, Dan. Oh, no. I would say a sweet deal was more like a sweat deal. <laughs>
the puns are coming out and the shirts are coming off. Mm, the drama on Winner Home. You yourself could be relaxing in that light sauna after a long day's work. If you win our grand prize competition and cho choose the Perma Peeps home, uh, obviously by entering puts you in line to win your choice of one of the three apartments as completed by our design duos. And it literally couldn't be any easier. So to log on to privateproperty.co.za, you'll receive their homepage like this. You then scroll down to the little icon that says Winner Home. You click on it. It'll load a new page with all of our faces on it. You scroll down and it says enter below or you can scroll all the way down and click enter at the bottom of the competition here, which is enter now. Once you click that, all the details will be there on how you can vote for your favorite design duo, select which one you want, fill in all of your details, click submit and you're officially in the running to be a well, kind of an owner of a brand new home with more than three million rand. We've seen their bathroom spaces, but what will the judges think? You better stay tuned. Control every aspect of your home from your phone. Create a multi-device experience when you connect your phone to your TV and manage your appliances from it. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Welcome back to Winter Home on SABC3. Now we have revealed to you each of our design duo's bathroom spaces and now all that's left is for the judges to decide who walks away as the winners of this challenge. With such high-end designs and attention to detail in each of the spaces, it's going to be a not so easy decision. Design duos, congratulations on completing your second double challenge on Winter Home Season 5. It was such a race to the finish line, but you completed, and I'm incredibly proud of all of you. All that's left is for the judges to view each of your apartments, and then to decide which design should be showered with praise, and which should be flushed down the loo. The judges have arrived. Dun, dun, dun. Judges are here. The judges have arrived. You are feeling strong now, They are. Brian Courtney from Private Property, Bushle Matole from Kabu Design Architects, and your guest judge and mentor for this challenge, Karen Marsden, founder of Karen Marsden Interiors. Last but not least, Slade Brooks, Property Executive, Bowen Properties. My name is Slade Brooks and I'm Property Executive for Bowen Properties. I sell apartments on a day-to-day -day basis. I make sure we put a roof over people's heads. We make sure we find someone, a quality, well-built apartment, now with Ball, we like to over deliver, not over promise. I'm also the director of the Born Foundation. That's a non profit organization that assists in financing students in order to get their education, in order for tertiary education, high school. Um, we're just there to enable the future of South Africa, and we're there to enable the future abilities of South Africans. What I'm looking for in the designers is not just hard work and creativity. I'm also looking for them to add value into the Bowen product. The Bowen product is a very high standard and we set ourselves a very high bar in every single development that we do. We make sure that the show units are incredible, we put a lot of effort and time into them. So now we're looking for these designers to add value and to make our product get to the next level. Well, we've done all we can do, it's up to the judges now. Oh, this is wow. Beautiful. This is a great use of space for such a small area. That's lovely. Wow. Is this slight? Definitely. I think the Perma Peeps did a fantastic job of showing contrast with the hard slate rock feel and then the soft um, floral elements and the plants that are hanging. I think it looked really beautiful. Wow. Great execution. This looks amazing. Yeah, the reclaimed tiles are beautiful in this bathroom. I really love the way they used a reclaimed tile for their apartment. You didn't have to go out and have some expensive idea. You just had to go out and be creative, think out of the box, and find something that nobody else wants anymore and create gold with it. Very smart thinking in how they carried the theme through to the spare bathroom um, with using the slate throughout. I think that, was, that simplified their lives to some extent. Um, and really it is an amazing impact when you first walk in there. I think that the girls from Perma Peeps really executed their design really well. The place looked very authentic and natural. Love all the greenery that we use. Really is a good contrast. I love the vanity stand, the mirror, 
It takes it all the way through the space, all the way down to the hemp liquid soap and hair lotion. So the attention to detail here has been amazing. Yeah, all natural straight to the end. Throughout both bathrooms, they had a great element of greenery. And the great thing about it is in, the, in our busy day-to-day -day lives, with the hustle and bustle, inside cities, inside cars, with our cell phones, we forget to take a fresh breath of air. And that greenery gives you a good sense of it. My only concern with the greenery is that unless it's actually maintained, you will lose that contrast. For the person who lives in that space, they are going to have to maintain their greenery if they want to continue to keep that look and feel, which isn't always so easy if you don't have green fingers. Oh, what's that? Some red light. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a tiny little sauna. Wow. There was a great surprise behind the door that we discovered, um, that red light sauna. This is definitely unique. Sure, very interesting. I like, wow. I think it was a good utilization of the dead space behind the door. It's a really cool feature, but I must say I'm not sure how long the novelty would last. I could really hang out in this space all day and just relax and feel the heat and the warmth of this fabulous space. We just hope that we didn't put too much in these bathrooms because yeah, we always want to push the boundaries. Mm. And uh, yeah, we really try to play on reflections, so I hope the judges pick that up and that plays in our favour. Wow. wow. Yeah, I know, these raw element slabs are incredible, these Caesar stones. They're huge. Contrast control. What a perfect name for that team. The guys have got so many elements inside that bathroom, it is looking incredible. You've got your wallpapers and you've got your natural stones in there. It is just taking off. Wow. This is I beautiful. am very impressed. I think they have completely executed what they planned. I loved their play on finishes. I loved their play on color. They weren't scared, but they weren't over the top. And they, they were practical. I just thought that their detail was really excellent. It's amazing. If you look at how the gray mixes with those colors, it's beautiful, beautiful. Very well thought out design, eh? This wallpaper is really amazing. It's unique. It's custom designed. The play of color is excellent. I love the tree popping out as a background which actually is the background to a really exciting piece of furniture or shelving that they've used. And I think it's been superbly executed. In the main bathroom, I think what was also practical was the use of storage, especially in such small spaces. One can never run out of having enough storage. So I think that shelf at the back uh, with the laundry basket, you know, practical issues that everybody needs um, from their everyday living. So I really think they, they did well there. I think the guys brought the theme through to the spare bathroom really well using similar colors and that fantastic wallpaper and then the use of that really big round mirror reflecting that wallpaper was fantastic. I really hope the judges you know pick up on the different personalities that we've put into both bathrooms you know I mean one for you one for me but I mean both of them do have a little bit of both of us in them mm -hmm. so I think that's a cool way of doing things. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. This is very exciting. Lovely, yeah. I can really see that the girls managed to pull off the vintage glam that they were looking to achieve. I mean look at that vintage light and that beautiful piece of furniture with the velvet. I love the richness of the colour. They love glam. They like a bit of vintage. They like a bit of play on colour. And with that, again, they really did that superbly. The mirror in the bathroom brought that beautiful retro feel in. Unfortunately, not the biggest fan of the box in the shower, though. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very bright and light inside here. Very elegant. I would be happy to invite any of my guests into there. Hmm, I like how they've also thought about the storage areas here. You can store your things in the bathroom and custom made Caesar stone. I think that's beautiful. They were very creative with the Caesar stone. 
I thought the shower elements of storage and putting in your shower gels and elements like that, they worked with the concept well. Look at this cupboard. That, that is a custom piece. It makes a big difference hey, with storage. It is very clever and it's also a wow piece. Yeah. No, I like the fact that they've added the extra storage. I think that really helps in terms of it being more sellable at some point. I love the vintage light they've made use of. I love the storage unit with the velvet tops and the deep buttoning. It's glamorous, it's sensual, and it's very wow. Smart. Yeah, very smart. And I like the glam part of it too cool. because that's what girls like. I think the mirror is cool. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm loving all the comments coming through. Hashtag winner home. Aren't those bathrooms just incredible? Uh, got, I love the way that some of you guys are being judges as well. Um, I see uh, Mongi says, I love Team RK and the Perma Peeps design. They are gorgeous and not gaudy and cluttered. Hashtag winner home. And this one was interesting. A judgy comment. I see you, Renee. Says, I love the dark bathroom tiles from Team Perma Peeps, but why that it's kind of dark? Some natural lighting would have helped. Hmm, wink, wink, Perma Peeps. Uh, then uh, Morena says, uh, loving the great design color contrast these designers play with um, brilliant ideas for every room in the house. Perma Peeps, Vida, La Vida. Then another one from Tumi says, innovative, fresh, and mind blowing. Hashtag Winner Home Team Contrast Control all the way to the top. Uh, another one from Dural says, uh, Winner Home Show. I love the ideas the teams are incorporating Caesar Stone into their bathrooms. It really is stunning. Hashtag Winner Home. If you'd like to share your thoughts, perhaps they're slightly spicy. We love those too. Hashtag winner home. Coming up after the break, it's time for our weekly Cappy Tech Open the Door giveaway, where we draw one lucky name from this week's entries to uh, win the chance to win some amazing prizes. Plus, we find out which design duo wins the double bathroom challenge. Lots on the way. Don't go anywhere. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. My favorite time of this show has finally arrived. It's time for us to uh, do the Capita Open the Door giveaway where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of the three doors behind me and win whatever is behind it. Now, here, today is not just another day because we've got Christine Shanmugam with me here from Capitec, the branch manager. Christine, are you well? Yes, I'm good. Thanks. Ready to give away prizes? Of course. Ah, well, here is what's hidden behind the doors tonight. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 5,000 Rand Durham paint voucher, a Caesar Stone Domino desk lamp designed by Dr. and Mrs. with 12,000 Rand, or a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher. All right, we've got our lucky caller on the line. It's Beryl Naidu, all the way from Port Elizabeth. Beryl, good evening. Good evening to you. Ah, you have come through to the best show with all the prizes. Are you excited to be with us tonight? Oh, I'm even shivering here. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm so excited. Uh, Beryl, well, I'm glad you are excited because I'm excited for you as well. You've heard all the prizes hidden behind the doors. Now, which door would you like us to open for you tonight? Red, white or blue? I'll tell you the white. White door? What's behind the white door, Christine? Oh, Beryl, congratulations! You have won yourself a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher! Oh, thank you very much! Thank oh. you, thank you! <laughs> well, thank that, means, you. that means you're going to be sprucing up your home a little bit for the summer, right? Okay, thank you! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> It's an absolute pleasure, and that's not all. Do you want to win some more prizes? Oh, yes. 
then good stuff. As one of our sponsors for this season, Samsung is giving you the chance to win a second time. If you answer one very simple product related question correctly, you will walk away with a new Galaxy Watch with phone capability via Bluetooth, fitness tracking that measures your heart rate when you exercise, and you can customize your watch using interchangeable straps. Does that sound good? Okay, thank you. Cool, then answer this question for me. To win this awesome prize, can you make calls with the new Galaxy Watch? Is the answer yes or no? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Is that your uh, final please. answer? Um, it, yes. Yes, uh, it yes. is correct. Congratulations, you win yourself that Galaxy Watch. Courtesy thank of you, Samsung. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so much to give away, so much excitement. Christine, thank you so much for being part of this. Thank it's you. really awesome to have you here. Thank Thanks for opening the door to her wins. Well, there is yet another opportunity for you to win Beryl tonight because last week's cash prize also wasn't won. It has rolled over again and cu currently stands at 15,000 Rand. Beryl, are you yes. a Capitec client? Yes, I'm a Capitec client. That is what I like to hear, because congratulations, you win thank yourself you. 15,000 Rand tonight. Oh God, now, wait, wait, much. not yet. I'm going to ask you a question first before you yes? win the money. So which of the following is a good credit choice? A, using credit for a night out with your friends, or B, using credit to further your education? I... Is it A to take your friends out? B. B. Did you say B, using credit B. to further your education? And that yes. answer, Beryl, is absolutely correct. Congratulations, you win yourself 15,000 rand! Oh thank man, you, thank you. congratulations, just in time for the summer, Beryl, enjoy your prizes. It's I that simple, will, man. Thank you very much, the first time I'm winning Thank too. you, thank you very much, and thank you so much, thank Christine, you. for being involved with this. Well, it's that simple to win. Enter now on privateproperty.co.za, and you could be the next lucky caller next week. And remember, there is also the possibility of winning the grand prize. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Partaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw, where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 smartphone with Bluetooth remote S Pen, AI camera, PC-like performance, and built-in decks with carbon sheet cooling. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Ah, uh, that bathroom double challenge or double bathroom challenge was not an easy one. It was emotional. It was a roller coaster of emotions for each of the design duos. And in the end, spaces were incredible. But such amazing design makes the judge's decision all that more difficult. But there has been uh, no winner yet because the competition still goes on. But there has to be a winner. <laughs> From me, a huge congratulations on completing your double bathroom challenge. I think it was a mammoth task to do all of that work in the space of two weeks, and each of you can be incredibly proud of yourselves. But it's time to reveal the judges' feedback after visiting both of your bathrooms in each apartment. Let's start with contrast control. The judges loved the sheer amount of design elements and detail in both of your bathrooms. They loved your large Caesar stone slabs, and your use of color in your wallpapers. But the question is, did you overdo it? Ooh, I was worried about us putting too much in that. Perma peeps, the Caesar Stone sauna was a hit. They loved your use of reclaimed tiles and loved how you juxtaposed that with the greenery of your plants and those living elements. However, they would have liked you to bring some more permanent color elements into the space. For instance, if the owner wanted to remove the plants or perhaps they didn't survive, 
It would just simply be a grey box. We specifically designed this space to be monochromatic with a minimalist feel. Yeah, I mean, colour trends, they come and go, whereas minimalism and nature is just timeless. Team Oren K. The judges loved how you brought different personalities to the different bathrooms. They loved the vintage glam aesthetic in your master bathroom, but there wasn't much love for your box shelf in the shower. <laughs> that box, you know, maybe. maybe we should have gone for something a bit more simple, you know, just like a little simple soap holder for yeah. function purposes. After a long discussion about each of your bathrooms, the judges have come to a decision. And this time, they've chosen an outright winner. With that, the winner of the Double Bathroom Challenge on Winner Homes Season 5 is... Team Contrast Control. Woo! Woo! One. Ah. Oh. Yeah, after all the stress, it, it means a lot. Feels good. Feels worth it. Congratulations, guys. For winning the challenge, you get an extra 5,000 Rand added to your budget to ensure that you add value to your properties. Well done to the guys for winning. You know, I, I do like what they've done with their bathroom. I love how they brought a bit of character and lots of textures in there. But that only means that we really have to up our game next time. Yeah. Mm, there's work to be done. Yeah, we really did put in a lot of graft on this one. I, we went the extra mile, so it is pretty disappointing, but hopefully the next three spaces we can pull something out of the hat that will impress the judges. Let's see. I feel so much for the Perma peeps because they've been putting in so much hard work. Let's try and get them at least one challenge win at a time because I mean they're the only team to have not won thus far. But well done to Contrast Control. Brilliant, brilliant design in those bars. Well done boys, well done boys. And a big congratulations to Beryl from Port Elizabeth. They're such amazing prizes tonight. I know you're going to enjoy them, right? Indeed, EO. It's time for us to enjoy the rest of our evening. Thank you so much for tuning in to Winner Home live on SABC3. Don't forget to get entering on privateproperty.co.za for next week's Capitech Open the door giveaway there are going to be some incredible prizes to be won as next week. always as ooh, always ooh, yeah. ooh, don't wait i can't <laughs> wait for that from us good night and have good a good night. evening bye next week on winner home with two double challenges under their belts the design duos are briefed on their next room the master the master will they be masters of design or will they get caught napping oh but i'm not too sure what's going on in here i'm hoping that they're getting things done Catch all the drama on Winner Home, Thursday 25 October at 7.30pm on SABC3. Another Feel Good Production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.